All right, good evening, folks. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. It is 9.05 local time here in California in the PM, October 21st, 2025. Uh, latest activity here has a pretty large earthquake around the Costa Rica area right now with a 6.0 earthquake coming into the region here in the last few minutes or so. Uh, I don't see any seismic wave from that large earthquake yet. Again, it just, just started to uh, stir up here. Uh, USGS not picking up on this earthquake yet. A little on the odd side, but uh, let's see what we got down here earlier. Not a whole lot showing up here on the USGS map, but uh, definitely showing up here on the EMSC model as a 6.0. Uh, I guess it has been pretty active out here across the Gulf of California, down through this region, all the way to the Peru Chile Trench. If you look here, it's quite a bit of uptick going on, even since this morning's update. Uh, a lot of smaller quake activity, but uh, obviously the multitudes have been increasing out here. It's a, definitely a decent sized quake. Let's check out the EMSC model and see what they're reporting on as uh, far as this earthquake goes. Uh, looks like they downgraded it <coughs> excuse me, to a 5.8. It was a felt earthquake in the area. Uh, pretty close here to the land. Um, 31 kilometers deep. Now the magnitude could change here because the parameters of that earthquake have not yet been reviewed by an official course the seismologist that is uh, but obviously a felt earthquake um, just kind of waiting here on the USGS see what uh, they may come up with nothing yet but uh, again seismograph stations here really not showing a whole lot of anything yet uh, I guess the closest one it's going to show up on here is maybe the California station that I have um, could be maybe seeing signs of it right there we'll have to check back on that here in just a minute uh, nothing in terms of the uh, tsunami uh, warning center here. No um, watch or anything issued by them. Sometimes they're in the uh, in that area of the the world. Uh, you can get some big earthquakes and uh, subsequent tsunamis. There's a <coughs> major subduction zone that sits down here. Got the uh, course of Middle America Trench, but down here across this area, oh man, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I know we got the Ecuador Trench here. Uh, but there is a subduction zone uh, across the area. You can see the uh, that uh, well-defined layer there uh, off the uh, Costa Rica area. So um, I kind of have to wait and see what the USGS is going to come up with here. Um, in the meantime, we'll check out what's going on across the rest of the world. Um, California, got a little activity stirring up here today. Uh, it does look like some of this uh, is from around the noon time period or so, right after my update. A couple more earthquakes on the Hayward Fault near Berkeley. Also some activity scattered out and about across other fault systems. That's just a sign here of increasing pressure out there across the Bay Area. Nothing big going on there for now. Uh, along the park field section of the San Andreas Fault, nothing new to report. There's a couple smaller quakes up north. Southern California has been really spotty in terms of earthquake activity out here. Um, not a whole lot showing up there on the map uh, today. Oil fields still rocking and rolling. Not a whole lot going on through the rest of the country out there. We look at the uh, Earthquake 3D globe. Pretty active here across the Mediterranean once again. Bunch of fours and threes and twos. I mean, literally though, if you look here at the last 24 hours across the globe, it's just... A lot of movement happening. Plates are definitely in motion everywhere, but the West Coast, it's crazy. Just kind of seems like we're stuck out here, just riding the plate tectonic motion here, but eventually this is gonna have to crack and adjust. I know that's a bad word to use, right, in uh, terms of earthquake activity, but uh, it's, gotta, it's gotta happen sooner or later. 4.2 down here in the Gulf of California. That's a newer earthquake, so maybe we might see some migration going on up northward here overnight. But, uh, man, a lot of activity stirring up here around the uh, Costa Rica area. And there's a 5.5 in the Ecuador area earlier um, this evening, it looks like. That's around the northern end here of the Peru Chile Trench. It may even be into the Ecuador Trench here, which I believe it is. Uh, the USGS used to have a nice feature here to where you would click on this area or they would actually show it on the oceanic crust map 
uh, you know, what the name of the trench zone is. But, uh, man, they ever since they redid their map here, they have not included uh, those helpful names, you know, uh, as far as recognizing the subduction zones and whatnot. Just kind of look in here. I don't, I mean, I barely see it showing up here on the Parkfield uh, station. That's in uh, California, maybe in the Southern California as well. Uh, the Bartley, the Barrett station, excuse me. But that's a ways down there, if you really think about it, from Costa Rica all the way up to Southern California. So it's not going to show up all that great. Uh, there is one earthquake in Canada area, it looks like, from early this morning, a 2.3. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here across the region. Definitely, man, you can. it's as visible as, as uh, plain as day, so to speak, out here. That, that line of activity stirring up. Just halting right there at the plate boundary at the San Andreas Fault, though. Possibly could see that move in. You just never know. Could fill in here. Uh, New Zealand, uh, most of the activity northward here with some deeper activity into the Tonga Trench. That uh, is a deep one. Let's see what we got here. 642 kilometers. Hello, that is super deep. Uh, that's going to further stress areas back over here. Tapering off slightly around the Philippines, but we do have some uh, some fours and threes and twos and whatnot stirring up along the Philippine Trench still and throughout the Indonesia area. Uh, Nankai Trough remains quiet for now, but definitely watch that. Getting some activity further south here again with a three-pointer and some uh, looks like larger aftershock activity there in the Kamchatka area. I believe that's a fairly new one here, 5.1. 45 miles deep here into the northern end of the Curl Cam Chatka Trench. Uh, the Alaska area, I don't see anything major going on. A couple twos and threes out there, but uh, that's very typical up there in that region. There's the uh, magnitude there being updated by the USGS as a 5.9, so a little bit of a downgrade there from a six point magnitude uh, level. But that's still a decent earthquake south of the San Jose area, it looks like, by, well, not not by much here. It looks like about 30 miles or so. Uh, 19 miles deep here into this, um, you know, I don't recall the subduction zone. I don't, that may be just the southern end here of the Middle America Trench, a portion of it. Uh, but that's, uh, that's a, definitely a good one. A decent size earthquake here. They can get some uh, pretty big earthquakes across this area. Of course, super populated up north, specifically here along the coast. I'm sure there's, um, you know, some scattered population densities out there, but uh, I'm thinking they probably felt that quake. Not super strong, but, uh, you know, it is somewhat close there. The, the pager report is up in the yellow. And as you can see, uh, regional activity, well, these guys get some big earthquakes. A six-pointer is really, really nothing. Um, I kind of want to look here and see when the last time is. Last time we had a, you know, a uh, big earthquake down there. So we're going to go back here. Uh, I guess we can go back to, to the year 1000. That's not going to cover everything, but what are we doing here? My mouse, I think, uh, battery's dying. So let's go ahead and check out this area down here and see what we got. Just kind of want to take a take a little look here and see what's up across the Costa Rica area that uh, go back to the scale looks like there was a 6.7 here further down south I'm just kind of curious about this specific area where we got that 5.9 right now 6.5 back in 2017 around that same area uh, there's 6.7 1940 6.7, or yeah, 1924, or 7.3 back in 1904. That's why I'm saying they can get some pretty big earthquakes. It looks like the decent size one here, well north of the area today, struck further, uh, obviously way up north, 2012 for 7.6. Oh, there's one. That's a pretty big one there. 
uh, around that population density, 7.6 back in 1939. So uh, this area can definitely get big earthquakes. For now, though, just a 5.9. But I'm sure they felt it. Let me, let me tell you, they probably did. Um, looking at space weather activity, <clears throat> a little bit of sea flare activity, it looks like. Uh, coming off of uh, maybe an active area out there on the far eastern limb. We'll have to watch that, though, when uh, it gets a little bit closer, because right now I can't really see too much of the magnetogram image. But if it's shooting off upper sea flares, it could be uh, fairly active. The rest of the regions out here really not all that concerned with so we'll check back uh, tomorrow see if we get a little bit better view of that far side sunspot right now the flare threat low 15 percent chance for m flare x flare at one percent or less c flare only had about 75 percent chance there no major roars in the forecast for now and uh just stay safe folks we will catch you guys out here in the morning just kind of keeping this one a short and simple update um Definitely got a large scale, broader movement going on here of earthquake activity. But I just, I find it super strange here that California is just halted. It almost seems like the Alaska area down through this region just, it's stuck. You know, obviously <laughs> things can move around it, things can adjust uh, all over the place here. But eventually, the way the plates move, you have to have that adjustment here as well. Uh, let me see what we got for the trimmer counts this evening. Yeah, only 78 epicenters. Starting to pick up a little bit down south here. Uh, southern end of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone there. But All right, we'll just kind of keep an eye on things. Just stay safe. We'll catch you guys out here uh, in the morning sometime for the Wednesday morning update.